Chairman, our DC. Shall we please rise? Let's bow our heads. Father, I want to thank you this afternoon for giving us the opportunity to be here today. Having consulted and consulted, today we have reached an agreement. It is all because of your power. You could never have been here if you were not with us. We say thank you again for the organizers of this program. Thank you for all of the volunteers uh, here. Thank you for even those that are witnessing the program today. As we be back upon this journey, we look up to you for strength. We look up to you for victory. We look up to you for you to strengthen each and every political party that are into this marriage today. As we affix our signature to this document, it is you, O oh God, that will make it for it to work. That anything that may lead to not understanding one another, we call for your intervention. We ask you, God, that you make it possible that we respect the protocols we are signing today and that each and every political party will hold on to it and do due diligence to the Republic of Liberia. We pray for the sustenance of all of us that henceforth your will will be done in accordance with what we are preaching to us. These and many blessings we ask of you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We will go to the welcome remark and go to the statement by Honorable J. Jerome Smudge, National Chairman, Labour National Union, Manu. Honorable Union Chairman, Coalition for Democracy, South, Chairperson of the Collaborative Political Party, Member of the Press. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is my single honor at this point in time to welcome all of you, our colleagues in the political process, and to the headquarters of the Liberian National Union. This process that we are about to witness, or we are witnessing today, started a few months back. And we want to congratulate everybody that seated around the table to say thank you for your commitment, for your time that you are invested into the process. Most especially our Chairman Chairman Moru demonstrated your due diligence to this process. Chairman Moru say thank you so much. With how much did I do, ladies and gentlemen, I will welcome you to the offices of the Liberian National Year. You can safely say, enjoy the hospitality of the Liberian National Year. Feel free. Be at home, you are both welcome, and we can say uh, the program here by hoping to check. Again, we turn the round to the introduction of the respective political parties, and this will be done by the general chairperson here, beginning with Nano. Again, I am J. Jerome Slodju, National Chairman of the National Union Land. I'm Reverend Augustine at Nimele, National Chapter of the CDH and Wakale Action. I'm Patrick City, National Chairman, Liberia Transformation Party, LTP. My name is Prince S. Valley. I'm the acting chairman, Union of Liberia Democrat Union. We be in Reverend Baker Essen City Senior, National Chairman Redemption from a Friday Congress, RDC. I'm Susano Lokumato Sito, IT National Chair of the United People's Party, UPP. Yeah. Okay, with this, we'll put the round for the purpose of this press briefing that will be done by our Reverend Agosti and Nive, Chairman. For what we say, we say praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. We are convinced and convicted that God is the cornerstone of this vocation. Then we can proudly say glory be to God. 
Brethren, barely three to four months ago, we are like matter parties, decided to meet along with our brethren, the CDC, in discussing the welfare of this nation, discussing national issues, aids and societies, and the love for country. In our discussion, we realize that Liberia and Liberians were the fights on our agenda. We realized that in the midst of the storm, we needed a, a shelter to run to when the storm is coming. <coughs> what could we do as a family in the storm? We realized that the change, the CDA and the rest of the local party decided to come in with the CDC. Honor leadership and guardians of our working on Manga! Yes. Being thoughtful, honest with sincerity of this call, he was humble and selfless in discussing this issue. There were times we had to break down on the bridge. We got to revitalize the bridge. There were times we had this agreement. We have to amend the, the whole thing. But glory be to God, today it is the day of joy. That we as six political parties, unanimously, can come together to affix our signature, agreeing to work with the Congress for the Mugada change. So, man, not for our separate desires, but for the cause of one goal, Liberia. For the Liberians, I say to you, we have come on this table, not for charade, but for honesty. Good government, one nation. May God bless you. Okay, then we come to one of the most important uh, aspects of this uh, press meeting. That is the signing, the <coughs> reading of the Memorandum of Understanding. So, first, the reading of the Memorandum of Understanding will be done by Honorable Prince Ed Bani, who is the chair of the Union of the Democrats, I will be followed by the signing. This memorandum of understanding and working to this 30th date of March 8, 2022, by and between the coalition for democratic change, the CDC, and collaborating political parties, namely CDA, Chief Democratic Action, the Grand National Union, Redemption Democratic Congress, RDC, the Union of the Grand Democrat, ULD. United People's Party, the UPP, and the Liberian Transformation Party, the LTP. The preamble. We, the political parties, the this memorandum of understanding with mutual interest in the peace and stability of our country, being cognizant of the meaningful challenges our country is faced with in terms of national infrastructure, and human resource development, recognizing the effort made by 
the we are led government in the area of peace and security with its creation of created and enabling environment for infrastructure and human resource development and investment. And considering that, this noble effort cannot be signed or single handedly achieved without the constructive participation of our Liberian whose sustained engagement and recommendation is essential for the good of the Liberian people. We are worth committing ourselves to working together on issues of national interest in pursuit of national unity, peace, stability, and mutual respect. Determined to sustain a platform for constructive and consultative engagement on all national issues of concern, free of public or media recall, and any such approach remain violent. Recognizing the importance as collaborating parties in working with the governing party, the CDC, in dealing with governance challenges and agreeing to jointly seek solutions to our different challenges and problems through shared discourse under the mediation of the Coalition for Democratic Change, the CDC, under the act species of the party's governing council. Acknowledging that we are committed or committed to working together to foster a framework document for the purpose of maintaining a constant engagement and dialogue on national issues that may lead to the formation of a grand coalition. Now, therefore, agree as follows. Definition. The MOU of Understanding, MOU, shall be a written agreement signed by the parties concerned. Declaration of commitment. The parties hereby declare and agree themselves in working together through mutual respect and constructive engagement with a view to, gen to generate team political same permanent and sustainable solution to issue of national concern as well as the objective of this MOU. Objective three, to work together on issues of national concern in pursuit of national unity, peace, stability, and mutual respect. To sustain constructive and consultative engagement on all national issues of concern, free of public or media recall, and any such approach to mean violence. To work with the governing party, the CDC, in dealing with government challenges and to seek solutions to our different challenges and problems through shared discourse under the mediation of the governing council. To work together to foster a framework document for the purpose of maintaining a constant engagement and dialogue on national issues that may lead to the formation of a grand coalition with the governance, with the coalition of democratic change. Duration of this MOU. This MOU shall commence from the date of signing and continues into existence pending the establishment of a framework document that is in the best interest of all parties of this agreement. Termination of this MOU. This MOU shall be terminated upon the establishment of a framework document that seeks the formation of the Grand Coalition. Notwithstanding, this MOU may also be terminated by a waiting notice of one month from other party for cause of non-compliance of this bounded obligation as provided for in this MOU, provided said party submit a resolution signed by two-thirds of its executive committee. 
communications with the media. All communications for publication and media engagement shall be approved by the Agreement Implementing Committee, the ARC, Implementing Authority. The signatory parties chairperson shall be the Implementing Authority, which is the Agreement Implementing Committee, the ARC, chaired by the governing party, the CDC, in consultation with the constituent parties executive and the governing council of the coalition for democratic change, the CDC. Wow. Decisions of the parties. All decisions of the parties shall be approved by the agreement implementing authority. Hate messages. The hate messages shall refrain from using offensive languages that has the propensity of inciting political intolerance and undermining the objective of this MOU. Confidentiality. The parties herein agree that it shall not at any time after the exclusion of this MOU or execution of this MOU disclose any sensitive information in relation to activities or affairs and all methods used in any engagement of business. Revision, modification, and amendment of this MOU. Any party may request the revision, modification, and amendment of this MOU. Any revision, modification, and amendment agreed by the party shall be in writing and shall be bounded on all parties and shall come into force on the date as may be determined by the party. The revision, modification, and amendment shall not project the right and obligation of parties in sworn in the MOU before or up to the date of such revision, modification, and amendment. Execution of the MOU. This agreement shall be signed by the respective party chair in the presence of their respective executive members and witnessed by the representative of the governing council of the CDC. Wherefore, and in view of the agreement, we the parties have set forth our genuine signatures on the date measured above in the city of Moravia, Republic of Liberia. Sir, Honorable K. Moruba K. Molu Jion, Chairman, Coalition for Democratic Team. Sir, Honorable Susanna Tukulopu Mekto Sito, Acting Chair, United People's Party. Sir, Reverend Augustine N. Nimle, Chairperson, Change Democratic Action, CDA. Sir, Honorable J. Jerome Slodry, Chairman, Liberia National Union, Mind. <coughs> Sir, Reverend Victor H. N. Seri, Senior. Chairman, Redemption Democratic Parties, RDC. Sound, Honorable Prince S. Vining, Chairman, Union of the Bureau Democrat, EOD. Sound, Honorable Patrick X. Seddy, Chairman, the Bureau Transformation Party. We will now proceed for the signature aspect of this MOU. <coughs> So, are we all set for signing? Set. For me, that broke it. Just close up. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Stand up behind my institution with the approval of my party executive and those that are here. Please stand. The rest of the team that are here. Somebody's out of here. Please stand. Get money. <laughs> On behalf of the Liberian Transformation Party, which I am the national chair, and on behalf of the national county, the county chair, one of them which is here, and our national woman leader, this is Corporal Howard. <coughs> I, Patrick S. City, now sign on behalf of the party.
Excellency George Nguya, and on behalf of the Vice and the Bearer, Vice Excellency Joel Howard Taylor, members of the Governing Council of the CDC, and the National Executive Committee of the Tropata. Change. So, I'd like to say thanks to God Almighty for the success of this process, <coughs> who is the biggest enabler of all the other features seated around this table. The executive Air Force translated into the successful signing of this MOU that has established a clear pathway <coughs> within which there lies the possibility for the formation of a grand coalition at the time when <coughs> members of the implementing body sees it fit to do so. The biggest beneficiary of this process will always be the Liberian people who deserve profound political undertaking, freed of violence, freed of bloodletting, freed of anarchy and chaos, freed of acrimony that has become characteristic of some political blacks in our country. For the record, we want to say very clearly that the CDC is interested in making friends reaching out to build bridges, not burn bridges. We're interested in peaceful coexistence of political parties. We're interested in using intellectual political discourses to persuade parties to join our side. It is not our interest to break down other political institutions. We want to compete freely in the provided democratic space that has been straightened by the democratic credentials of His Excellency George Manuia. We are very hopeful, we are very exuberant that the next election will be won very clearly and decisively. That we let His Excellency George Manuia do a second time to continue doing the great job he has started. Bless by the Liberian people. That you have signed on to work with the CDC around national issues is a very significant debris for political organization in our country. This is unseen in our border politics, where parties will come together long before election and commit themselves to working around national interests, to work in the strengthen peace, and strengthen national security that parrot us. We appreciate that. Let me let you know that you are very relevant political institutions here. Your incorporation has made the CDC stronger. Yes. If we are called mightier, we are now even mightier than what we, we used to be before. Mm. Mm. And the signing of this MOU must not be a last step or the beginning of a strengthened future for all of us as political parties. Let us now continue to forge forward, strengthen the unity. And we are aware that much of what will happen moving forward will rely on us to strengthen your confidence, to justify the essence of your signatory to this document. Speaking with the full support of His Excellency, the President of Liberia, 
rest assured that we will only be better after this process and we will only be stronger after this process. We will fulfill maximally the policy driven basis for your decision. You will not be disappointed. And we are open to correction. The fact that we are now working together doesn't mean you cannot correct us when it is needed. We are open to your criticism. We are a tolerant political institution. The CDC, in the view of historical reality, is the most tolerant democratic political party in the history of democratic governance in our country. So we are open to criticism, we are open to suggestions. In the coming days, I look forward to presenting you formally in the presence of His Excellency the President for a constructive dialogue moving forward around the issues that brought us together, which is good governance, democratic participation, infrastructural progress, economic revitalization issues, and so forth. We are very pleased to have you. And for those parties have adopted a wait and see approach, to see where we want to wait and see first what becomes of the initial process, then we jump ship the problem, we jump uh, the process. We want you to come over. There's no need waiting to see because there will only be good things happening amongst us as United Political Institutions. So don't be late. We extend all the branch. So even those that may have felt offended along the way, we extend a hand of peace. So as we come together around a common good, we are transforming Liberia step by step, one block after the other. We are not claiming perfection. No government under the heavens, no human institution will really cling to perfection. We get clearly see of the democratic political institutions of government in the last hundred years, judging by the successes, the human rights values, the freedom of speech of the last four to five years, the we are led government is clearly the best democratic governance ever to exist on the face of this type of Liberia. It's proven, it's documented. So, regardless of the challenges that remain, once we are working together like this, coming together like this, it makes it easier to tackle those challenges and accelerate our development drive as a people. So, we are not the challenges, but we want to build a greater, expansive collaboration that makes it easier to tackle these challenges. To move our country forward. So once more on behalf of His Excellency the President, I want to say thank you to all of you chairpersons of these political groupings, and thank you to your executive committee members that support.